amidst a standoff with the central government over the increased tax on imported cement, the Cement Importers Association of the Gambia held a press conference on Friday to inform the public about the controversies affecting their business. During the press conference, the association also updated the media on the recent arrest of two of their members during President Adam Barrow's State of the Nation address at the National Assembly. Mr. Cham, an executive member of the association and one of the two arrested individuals, spoke at the press conference. He detailed the circumstances of their arrest and described what transpired at the police station. Uh, we applied for permit to demonstrate three times. However, our request was rejected. So with regards to the incident at the National Assembly, after the display of the uh, association's banner and some of our members holding few stickers at the assembly gate when the presidential convoy was going into the assembly. On our way home, some people were begging for the organization's T-shirt, including few officers, which only bear our logo and contact. So that's when uh, they arrested me, me personally, Sheikh Cham, because the T-shirts were in my car and Omar, who was distributing the T-shirts at the Gambia High School first gate. Allah Jimbai was later detained with us when he came to the police station. We the members, uh, we the members, we the members who were arrested, including myself, were released on bail yesterday evening, the 27th of June and currently reporting on bail. Furthermore, I am confused with the, uh, with few of the questions I was asked during the screening process, and I quote, what is your political affiliation and what is your nationality? Regarding the tax increase on imported cement, Mr. Cham believes that the government's decision is an attempt to monopolize the cement industry in the country. The policy risks a, a, a border trade conflict with Senegal, a crucial partner supplying electricity, construction materials, and security, amongst others. The government is wrongly advised to stop Gambian youths from doing cement business and making thousands redundant. After all the privileges given to them, like the special investment certificate, the $50 million loan guaranteed by the government, you still went further to advise government to ban Gambians from cement business by starting a media propaganda to monopolize the business, which only works to your advantage to be able to push the prices up and compromise quality to enable your private company to be able to pay back the loan at the expense of Gambian consumers, the construction industry, young businessmen, and so on. Gambia should be for all Gambians. Justice for one should be justice for all. And we, should, uh, and we should practice free market trade. Mr. Cham also criticized the government's new policy on cement importation, describing it as a negative message to investors. He highlighted how the lack of cement imports from Senegal is impacting Gambians in rural areas. Uh, before, people, before people invest in business, one of the key things that people consider is security. Security of the country, lives and property. It doesn't send a good signal when business can be closed at any minute without any communication, proper assessment, no redirection period, and especially this scenario where the monopolization is for a private, uh, is a a private business, not a state-owned enterprise. This type of policy sends a negative, sig a negative message to investors about policy stability. Looking at the, the public outcry, looking at what consumers are going through, there are uh, transportation costs of cement to Basa is $65. To other places like Fatoto is $75. And offloading around that area is $7, unlike the combos where offloading is $5 per bag. That's, that is the reason why the few that are getting cement around those areas are getting it for $550, which is not fair. When we were bringing in cement from Senegal, wholesale price including the cost of cement, transportation, and offloading all over the regions in the Gambia was at three, $375. On behalf of his association, Mr. Cham called on the government of the Gambia to reverse its policy on the importation of cement into the country. So we are calling on the government to reassess its policy 
to, uh, to assess its policy, patronize fair trade and support competitive market. We further demand an economic assess, economic, as, uh, economic impact assessment and hold responsible officials accountable for anti-business policies. Last year, we imported a total amount of 619,498.92 tons from Sahel. This figure excludes uh, exclude the amount of uh, cement that was ex uh, imported from Sakosim and Dangote, respectively. The, uh, what we would also like the government to look into uh, is, uh, is, is the consumers, to prioritize the well-being of the Gambian consumers and Gambian business. Therefore, I will conclude by saying the directives that the government has taken patronizes the interest of a single individual over the economic well-being of Gambians, risking high prices, reduced supply, redundancy, and strained trade relationships. The competitive market and, uh, and uh, a, a competitive market and a diversified supply chain are essential for economic stability and growth. The Cement Importers Association believes that the government's policy fails to address the issues of value-added tax and stockpiles in Senegal. The association informed the media that their members have millions of dollars in cement bags in Senegal that they are unable to collect. The association expressed its disappointment with the Trade Minister's statement that his ministry will not reverse the tax increase to $120 per bag and call on the government to reconsider this decision. Reporting for Kerfatu. I am London Caesar.